The state of Georgia has a huge variety of wildlife. What are the most dangerous animals, insects, bugs, creepy crawlers? Well, today we're gonna find out what the most dangerous animals, insects, and bugs are you could encounter while moving, living, or traveling to Georgia. Let's start with the animals and start with the black bear. You can find those all across the state of Georgia. A mature black bear can weigh up to 500 pounds. That's a massive animal. Consider it being such a big animal. Black bears are not aggressive as other bear species you can find around the US. In Georgia, there has not been a report of any bear attacks on humans or even fatalities caused by black bears. You find black bears in forest areas and swamp areas where they can get plenty of natural food. Even though they're not aggressive, there have been two fatalities, not in Georgia, but in the Southeast. If you see one, you might as well don't want to go and pet the cute little bear because it could be that the bear feels threatened and is going to attack you then. So stay away from bears. If you can take a look at a bear from the far, that might be your best bet. Don't go close and please don't play dead if you see a bear because that does not work. The next dangerous animal is that cute little kitten, the bobcat. Bobcats are very common to Georgia and they are very common to the USA in general. Bobcats are very shy little cats, but they can be aggressive if they have cups around or they feel threatened by you. Usually, and won't attack you at all. There are no records of bobcat attacks on humans or fatalities in Georgia. If they are threatened and have their babies around, you want to stay away in general from those cats. Look at those beautiful animals from a distance. Bobcats can be very aggressive and attack humans if they have rabies because their behavior is very erratical. Every animal's behavior is erratical when they have rabies. Nevertheless, don't get too close to a bobcat because they can hurt you if they get aggressive when they are threatened. Number three of dangerous animals is the coyote. The coyote is very common to all of the United States and it's also very common to the state of Georgia. Coyotes are actually labeled an invasive species in Georgia, even though they are native to the state. Coyotes are scared of humans unless they are in a pack and they could attack. That rarely happens. Coyotes though, your little puppies, if you let them outside in the yard, unintended, and coyotes can get a hold of them. Coyotes actually attack dogs, chickens, or other pets and kill them. But attacks on humans are very rare. There is no fatality recorded. Stay away from coyotes with your pets because for them, a coyote can be very, very dangerous. Before we get to my least favorite dangerous animal, reptile, bug, or insect, let's talk about the deer. Yeah, you might say, deer, what is he talking about? Those cute little bambies are not dangerous. I can tell you that deer don't do anything to you and they're not aggressive at all. They're super shy, they run away from you, but they are drawn to your car like a magnet. There are more deer accidents and animal to human encounter fatalities when it comes to a deer meeting the human than any other animal in the United States. And we do have a lot of deer here in Georgia. So in the fall and springtime, you gotta watch out for those crazy deers who wanna cross the street it might cause you to crash. Deers are super cute, but they are kind of dangerous when it comes to interacting with humans on a daily basis. My personal least favorite, and I'm the most scared of those suckers, <laughs> the creepy crawlers, snakes. Georgia has about 46 species of snakes, but only six of them are very venomous. We got the cottonmouth, diamondback rattlesnake, timber rattlesnake, pygmy rattlesnake, copperhead, as well as a coral snake. All of them are very venomous and dangerous. Those usually live in wetlands, swamps, and the forest areas, and you will encounter them 
here in Georgia. Just in my neighborhood, other neighbors encounter those snakes on a weekly basis. You gotta watch out. Usually they are not aggressive until you do something stupid, like trying to pick that snake up, try to play with it, trying to step on it. Don't do that because they want to protect their territory and they're gonna bite you. In Georgia, we have about 7,000 to 8,000 venomous snake bites a year. Most of them are from copperheads. Stay away from the snakes. If you do not interfere with their daily routine, you won't get bit. And I assume getting bit by that snake is pretty, pretty painful and could be deadly. While we talk about reptiles, we also should talk about the alligators because there are 200 to 250,000 alligators that live in Georgia. This humongous reptile is pretty dangerous. Even though we only had nine attacks between 1970 and today, it is a dangerous animal. And they live in ponds and lakes all over the place even in middle Georgia. When we talk about creepy crawlers, let's don't forget about our eight-legged friends, the spiders. Georgia has a lot of different spiders, the regular house spider, the orb weaver, wolf spider, which you should not you know, hit with a broom or anything because it could be that they have their babies on the back and then you have a hundred spiders crawling around. There are two venomous spiders that you need to watch out for and usually they hide in very dark places. So under cabinets, under wood piles, or anything where they can be in the dark. Black widows are venomous, but there has not been any death related to a black widow bite in over 10 years in the United States. And when you get bit by the Prown La Cruz, this can really hurt. According to numerous people I know that got bit by a Prown La Cruz, that bite was very painful for a couple of days. And you could experience fever, nausea, and all that bad stuff when Bitten. The venom of the Brown La Cruz causes necrophilia on the spot where they bite you. Watch out, if you get bitten by either one of those, seek medical attention and you should be fine. Of course in Georgia we do have a variety of stinging and biting insects. So we got bees, hornets, wasps, mud doublers, fire ants, which are annoying, and we got scorpions. Scorpions you see most of the time in the Georgia mountain area north and you got to watch out because those suckers sting Usually they are not aggressive unless you step on them or you get too close and then they protect them In a northern region if you leave your shoe out or your boot out overnight Make sure in the morning that you shake it out to see if there is a scorpion in there Because if you just slide into your shoe or boot and there's a scorpion you're gonna get stung and all those stinging insects can be very dangerous for people who are allergic to them. So watch out, scorpions are a thing in the northern region of Georgia, most likely in the mountains, and they can sting. There is no recorded fatality in Georgia when it comes to a scorpion sting. Also, fire ants are very common, and here in middle Georgia, you will see fire ants all over the place all the time. And they are not dangerous, but they are super painful. Of course, Georgia also has a variety of other wildlife, otters, beavers, turkey, opossums, amadillos, we got it all. But those are not as dangerous as the other ones I did mention. Another insect that is not dangerous, but it's dangerously annoying here in middle Georgia are the nets. Those are little bitty flies that annoy the crap out of you. They're not dangerous at all unless you swallow too many of them and you probably choke on them, but they're annoying, dangerously annoying. This was it. The most dangerous animals, insects, bugs, and reptiles when moving, living, or traveling through Georgia, you should watch out for when you encounter them. If you're new to me or new to this channel, my name is Misha Thompson, your favorite Warner Robins real estate agent. And if you liked what you see, consider subscribing and turning that notification bell on so you will stay up to date with all the latest videos I'll upload. I'll see you in the next one.